Okay, hi everyone. Today we're looking at chapter 12, right triangles. Um, right triangle means one angle is 90 degrees. And I use that little box right there to say that it is 90. So it's perpendicular 90 degree angle. If we're talking about right triangles, the side opposite, that right angle is always called the hypotenuse. And then these are legs. So this is leg and this is a leg. I'm able to find that hypotenuse given the two legs using the Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. Uppercase letters represent an angle. So if I call that angle A, that would be that angle. Lowercase letter, the length of the side opposite that given angle. Usually you use C to represent the right angle, capital C, and then lowercase c, angle B, and side B. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. And if I have, this is my right angle C, my hypotenuse is C, the Pythagorean theorem is one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals C squared. So an example, if A is equal to 3, B is equal to 4, I would take those two legs, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. I square this first, 9 plus 16 equals C squared. C squared is equal to 25, square root of both sides, and C is equal to 5. It's an easy one. It works out to be integers. And you probably heard the expression a 3, 4, 5 triangle. That's because um, if this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5, then it has to be a right angle. Okay. So you could check squareness. You know, if you have a fence off another fence or a property line, if you measure any increment of 3 foot down here, 4 foot down here, and then pull a string tight to 5 foot, then this has to be square. Okay, and, and it, this could be, you could double a three and make this a six. This would be an eight, and then this would have to be a 10. So you'd move this leg until that string was equal to 10, and then you know that you're perpendicular. Um, if you have something a little difficult that doesn't work out, you know, let's say this is two foot three inches, and this is three foot six inches, I convert everything into inches. So this is two times 12, 24, 25, 26, 27. So this is a total of 27 inches, 36 plus six, 42 inches. And if I wanna find this hypotenuse, I do 27 squared plus 42 squared equals C squared. Now I have to use a calculator. So let me do that. So on my calculator, on my phone, I'm going to go 27 times 27 plus, actually i got to turn it this way to get those other functions, uh, 42 times 42. So then I have 27 squared plus 42 squared is equal to 2493. So this is 24. 93 equals c squared, square root of both sides. And that gives me 49.93. So this is going to be 49.93 inches. Um, and I could convert that back into feet. I know that 12 times 4 is 48. So this would be 4 feet and then 9.93 inches is, you know, it's almost uh, 15 sixteenths. So four foot, nine and 15 sixteenths of an inch or so. Okay, so that's the Pythagorean theorem, chapter 12.